<laughs> Trick, yeah. we, so we live, everybody. How y'all doing? <laughs> hey, y'all. So this is your boy, Eric G. And welcome to another episode of Random Thoughts with Eric G. Hey, um, before we get started, you know, I got to shout out this week's local spotlight artist, Wayne. His song is playing at the beginning of this podcast. Um, and so, look, if you get a chance to um, listen to my podcast on all the streaming services, uh, you get a chance to hear all the new music. You get a chance to learn a little bit more about the artists we have on our show. And I'll uh, just go from there. Um, so this week, y'all, we're going to get into this week's episode, man, and I'm really excited for it. Hey, y'all, uh, yo, this week's episode titled Sex, Love, and Religion, having a grown conversation about, about these topics in a relationship. And, and I can't have this conversation while having these wonderful people with me today. Hey, so I want everybody to get a chance to shout out these these lovely people. So let me start off with my ladies first. Hey, y'all. Uh, excuse me, uh, Miss Friend, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing swell. <laughs> Miss Jazzy, how you doing? Jazzy, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And again, yo, most of us got a drink here, so just get our nerves together. I got a Red Bull. That's about it. Hey, it's uh, all you good. You got a different kind of date, do <laughs> So, so Fred and Jack, if you get a chance, do you let these people know about your, uh, got a little feedback. I think somebody got a feedback. Somebody got a mute. Uh, there we go. Yeah. So, uh, Fred or Jazzy, if, uh, would you like to tell everybody about your podcast? So, Fran and I are the creators of the Root of All Sex podcast. We talk about love, sex, and everything in between. Nothing is off limits. So, yeah, we can be heard everywhere where podcasts can be heard. Y'all can check us out on Facebook at the Root of All Sex, as well as our Instagram at the Root of All Sex. Listen to us everywhere. All right, then. So, let me kick it over to my brother right here. Mr. Donnie Don, what's going on, brother? What up, doe? How hey, everybody up, doing? Hey, little brother, can you pre- I mean, please give a brief introduction of you and your podcast? I am the host of Whatever Talk, also Challenge Our Beliefs. And um, Whatever Talk is the show where we talk about everything. We make fun of reality on that show. We talk literally everything, like... If you listen to the show, some of us just even know about my no-no spot. So <laughs> we, hey, talk, we talk literally anything. Like no nothing is nothing's off. Nothing. Talk about how ugly your kids is if you want to. If you feel like your kids ugly, we talk about it. <laughs> well look, man, look, I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna judge my kids. With Jack on oh, oh, Fred, oh, yeah, you know, Fran busy on it. She's coming back. I know she's coming back. <laughs> hey, so pretty much, y'all. So, look, everybody. So, the reason why I'm having this show tonight, um, uh, sex, love, and religion. I, I, I remember I, I got a chance to do, um, to be on both of y'all podcasts, mm-hmm. and, and 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 I touched base. I think I touched base with you, Donnie, on it before that I wanted to do this episode. Yeah, yeah, we're supposed to be on the show before your last season. I do have exactly. a partner, yeah, I do have a partner, Kev, too. I don't want to leave him out. <laughs> hey, man, the <laughs> cool as hell, man. I got that. Mm-hmm. Look. But look, so pretty much their podcast pretty much in like, like inspired me to do more research into this topic tonight. Because, uh, oh, you need to say that again, man, because people listen, <laughs> listen to the stuff I be talking about, and I'm crazy out in the world <laughs> so whatever talk actually made somebody think and do some research people need to hear that <laughs> oh we got a friend back how you doing wait i'm gonna wave at her because i know she, she's busy <laughs> i'm sorry y'all we going through the freaking swamp of louisiana so sorry if my service is sucky right now <laughs> y'all but i'm still here i'm not leaving she just ran over a gator. That's all it was. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> hey, like I was saying, though, I said that, um, friend, that you and Jazzy and um, Don, y'all podcast kind of inspired me to do a little more research into this topic tonight. Okay. Um, because being on both your podcasts, and I appreciate, thank y'all both for allowing me to be on it. And I, and I know we had a good time on both of your podcasts. Um, I learned a little bit more. I mean, we had a great time. We had a great conversation about sex. 
we had a great conversation also, Donnie, about, about religion. And 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 I'm gonna let y'all ladies, I'm gonna let y'all know, please be aware. Don's conversation skills. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not that good. Kids. Not that good. Not that. It's, good. I can say ain't that good, but he, if you get pissed off, just mute yourself for one second. Uh, <laughs> it's straightforward. <laughs> it's straightforward. It's straightforward. I don't mean. I don't mean nothing by it. I just say it how it is in my head, and I hope you don't get offended. Yeah, but that's do, okay. But, I appreciate but if that. Do, if you do get offended, hey, just say something. I'll find some way to say it, or I'll say my bad if it offends you. I mean, I mean, we had a two-part conversation about Adam and Eve, and I don't know how the hell that went. But <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly, it's, it was crazy. Well, but um, uh, I'm about to go back oh, and listen oh, to that. Yeah, we had a conversation about Adam and Eve, and then y'all conversation. You know what? Matter of fact, friend, listen to the, our last in, our, my interview with you. I want to say that I think you'll be the best person for an AMSR like <laughs> little channel. Really? You know, I thought I thought about it. I thought about it. I mean, you're not, see, I don't know you into the, I don't know you into that whispering, but well, Fran well, got that down. Well, what? Well, what you talking about Yin Yang <laughs> twins? Yin Yang twins. You talking it's about a, it, was a, it was a whole it was a whole different type of Yin Yang. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, <laughs> we cutting up a little bit, man. But let me get to the show. <laughs> so tonight, y'all, we want to talk about sex, love, and religion, and how it's affect how how having those three things in your relationship cause or break your relationship. Um, we're gonna start off pretty light. I want to go into the religion part of relationship. Um, for I'm gonna just use my example. Starting off, me and my wife, we've been together for five years, and we have five going on six years. And coming to, we both have to say, we both have a Christian background. We're from the South. That's what we have. But she's further from down, she's more further down South than I am. So they, they really believe in the, like, the, <laughs> I'm not going to say they have a fear, but it's just like they have a really big connection to the Bible. Where on me on the side, I have a connection to the Bible, but I also have a more spiritual side. Like, I believe that, I believe in God. I believe in what I've been through in my life that, that pushed me further towards him. So, with that said, we we kind of in, in a way yin and yang because we we tackle our relationship based off of two different viewpoints, <clears throat> and we, we based off two two different viewpoints of, of of religion, religion and spirituality, you know. And so that's how we're able to raise our kids. So I'm not I'm mm. not I don't believe in doing everything strictly by the book. I don't believe in like everything to go strictly through the Bible way. But I also believe that having that that connection to God. Internally, and me, which I which I described the difference to Donnie. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, so, that's, so, that's, so my that's, uh, that, that's that's funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, not not your thing per se, but religion itself is yeah. funny to me. I find a lot of things funny because of the thing that uh, I've been on this Im imagination thing. Mm -hmm. on heavily recently um yeah. and i kind of feel like when it when it comes to what you just said about mm -hmm. your half of it well actually everybody's half of it whoever believes is that the i think you get i feel like you get the feeling of how you feel because of your imagination like it's fueled by your imagination on what you were told about the religion and not not God per se because mm -hmm. nobody has met him even when nobody has seen him even the prophets in the book hasn't even seen him Jesus didn't even see him until he died mm -hmm. I mean, so, I, mean I mean but and that's the thing is, eventually we all are supposed to meet our maker. So you probably you probably won't see him into that to that situation to the, to the time come. But right. your beliefs, but how you feel spiritually can like like I said, my thing is spiritually connected to him because this breath we got in our in our bodies now comes from somewhere. We had to have we had to this life came for something. And I'm not saying that there's a magical man in the sky. No, I'm not saying that. But I do feel like something was brought on this universe. But we're we going, okay. 
<laughs> but anyway, so the question I had, look, you know, Donnie, Donnie, Donnie he muted himself. I know you're going to get mad. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm talking to my little man here. Oh, my son. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so, Jazzy, so here's my question. Well, I'm sorry, my question to both of y'all. My question to y'all is, um, what is your viewpoint on meeting someone or dating someone who has a different type of religious background than yourself? Um, I think if they have a different religious background than myself, then you just have to get to know what theirs is. I mean, that's the whole point. Everyone's not the same. Y'all not gonna always be the same. That's what makes things more interesting. Um, y'all both will have y'all separate views on things, but y'all will still have to compromise if y'all are gonna be together. But I don't see anything wrong with it. It's always something new, something open to learning different people's religion. Just like you learn anything else, something that you don't know. But when it comes to sex, you don't have to know what their views are and how they were brought up or how what their beliefs are and what yours are. But how do y'all as a couple, as one, make it work for the two of y'all? Uh, my, my turn? No, I can't hear him. Oh, okay. I, I can hear you. I can see, hear you. See, 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 y'all see, I'm, 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 I'm amateur at this right. I had myself mute. But anyway, <laughs> no. But, 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 so, so wait, I'm, I'm gonna oh, let Donnie go. Yeah, Donnie, go ahead. Go ahead. Your turn, boys. Uh, come on, man. Oh hey, Jess, no, no, you no, 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 you were coming in robotic. You was coming in robotic okay. on my end. All right, I'm I sorry about that. You. I'm sorry, but you know, see, I'm, I, I live in the ghetto. But um, <laughs> no, man. But uh, so Donnie, yo, so yo. So your perspective now, like, because I know that you, you you challenge the belief of the Bible on your end. Um, so if you was, let's say that your your wife was, I mean, I don't know your wife's situation. Let's say she was very much into the Bible, into the church. How would you challenge that? I mean, how was that work for you? Or how did that work for you? It would not matter to me now one bit. <clears throat> I don't care who you believe in, and I don't care who you don't believe about or don't believe in. I is uh, I care about you, or I'm trying to get interested in you. Right. So that's so that's pretty pretty much it. So I'm saying, so if she would say like, look, I, I think it really matters to me that we go to church together. Would that affect you, or would you feel away about it? Uh, hmm, that's a good one because I want to say <clears throat> I'm, I'm right now. I'm like, no, it wouldn't affect me. But I think it would affect her mm. or them more so than it would affect me because of their beliefs. You know, I, mm. I, yeah, their beliefs. Like the Bible does say, uh, if you believe in God, to say you're married. And your spouse doesn't have to believe in God because they go through God mm -hmm. through you. Mm -hmm. So, hey, it depends on if she know about that part of the Bible. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, 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 I guess, I know it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really, religion doesn't matter to me. I just like to conversate on why the person believe in this. That's all I like to do. But religion, yeah, I don't believe in any religion at all. So it doesn't, it won't fade me. Okay, okay. So, mm -hmm. so back to the question to you, Jazzy. I know you said that it depends on what works for both of y'all. So if your if your mate, let's say, was Jewish, and you're a Christian, I, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm not sure, but if you're Christian, could y'all compromise? Or do and, and do you think that Ooh. do you think that you have to pick <laughs> you have to pick a certain religion in a marriage? If y'all both have two two different backgrounds. Do you think Arab, do you think it's right for, well, not right do you think that y'all should be able to go with just one religion or y'all still have your own Ooh, I think good, I honestly think you should have your own like I don't okay. see a problem like say like if something's going on at a Jewish church okay maybe you get invited there and vice versa but I don't think you should necessarily totally let yours go for the other I mean I'm sure there's certain beliefs that if you guys get married you might want to follow the man or you might want whichever one y'all are comfortable with i think that's what mm -hmm. y'all should do not necessarily just totally forget what your values are and what your religion that you were taught and brought up in his either 
now it's a different ball game. It ain't like how it used to be. You right, can totally right. do with everyone and be totally comfortable. I ain't gonna lie. Look at all the stuff I talk about. I got right. a whole set podcast. <laughs> but I can marry people. I can baptize people. Right. Right. You okay, don't really okay. put that one out there as much, but I can do that. Hey. Hey. Well, well I, I take it to the point of being I like was, a minister now. Say- Hold on, I was gonna say something, but I'm gonna say that for the sex part. I'm gonna not gonna say, say it in the religion part. Oh, I'm okay. gonna say that for the sex okay. part. But go ahead, go ahead. Now. What you gonna say? That, you that's, say that's a good question right there because I also feel like this: if you do say that you are uh, a, a a set religion, mm-hmm. like Christian or uh, Muslim or whatever. I I do say that hey uh, go by you know don't be a hypocrite about it do what the book says do what your religion says and your religion says no of what to your question especially if well I, and I, I'm going to say especially if you're Christian I know more about Christianity than any other thing other religion so but that that's how I feel like if you I I do feel like stop with the hypocrites. Hypocrite. Uh, because uh, or the hypocrite is it hypocrisy? <laughs> what is it? Still know what you're trying to say. Hey, hey, look, look, look. I didn't know. I don't know. I already saw drinks. Okay, but what's up? What's up? The hypocrisy, something like that. There you go. But but hey, but yeah, I, I do feel I do feel like that. Like if yeah, go 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 with the uh, do do what your religion says because you ain't gonna make it into this lottery of heaven. If you're going the Christian route and you saying, "Hey, my my wife's a Muslim," that that, that ain't gonna work for God. God ain't trying to hear that. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so, friend, since you since you back, friend, I know what you can hear. Hey, friend, can you hear me? I can. Yes, hey. I can hear you. I, I, I know. I know you you driving through. You know, say Hurricane Katrina right now. That's <laughs> <laughs> No, we had to pull over so I could connect to the hotspot and do all this other crap because it kept cutting out on me. And I hate that I'm in the country because I have no service here. I know. I'm so sorry. I know I'm the, we can always reschedule if you want to. No, 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 no. I want to I wanna be a part of it. I don't want to reschedule. Okay. All right. So let me bring you in. So if we'll you reschedule, right you're still going to be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do this today, okay? <laughs> Shoot, we're going to do this today. Hey, so let me break you into what we got going on right now. So we, we're talking okay. about the religion part. We're talking about the religion part. Um, And what I just asked Jazzy and Donnie was about if you may have a different background in religion, how do you think, like, could you, first of all, could you date a person with a different background? And also, could you, I mean, how do you think it would work? Would y'all have to, eventually when you get married, combine into I mean, I could buy and sell on just one religion or keep your own separate. I'm just going to I actually am married to someone who's a different religion. Um, depending on how drastic, you know, of a of a difference our religions would be, that would, you know, my answer would be based on that. But because my husband and I are both uh, Christians, but just different denominations, it doesn't really affect us. We don't really discuss religion in any depth at all. So it, we just don't let it affect our relationship at all. But if he were a completely different denomination, like if he didn't believe in God at all, or if he believed something, you know, totally different from myself, then I don't think we could continue to the relation into the relationship because it would, you know, it would affect us. So do you believe? Do you believe? Okay, in, hold on. I'm sorry, I, go, I, go ahead, Donnie. Go ahead, Donnie. <laughs> oh, no, oh, I, she um, I don't know if it's on my end, but she kind of cut out. Where well, everybody kind of cut out, but I came in on the part where she said that her and her husband doesn't discuss religion. I'm like, it had me thinking. We're like, why, 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 why? <laughs> we not that we don't ever discuss it. We just don't. Because I'm, I, I was raised Catholic, and my husband grew up Jehovah's Witness. 
and I have family members who are Jehovah's Witness, and I don't have anything against yeah, that right. religion, but it's just not my choice to practice that religion. Right. So we would visit, you know, the Kingdom Hall, and he would visit my Catholic church, but I could tell he was uncomfortable. But it, you know, and visiting the Kingdom Hall didn't bother me because I've been there with, you know, family members before. But I just wouldn't partake in, you know, all the things that they do and a lot of the things that they believe. But that's his religion and what he chooses to believe. So I'm not going to tell him he can't believe what he believes, you know, just like I don't want him to tell me what I believe. So we just well, keep that separate. We, you know, we would do okay. Bible study, but we would do Bible studies. So, so y'all, so basically, y'all trying to compromise with, compromise with our same people. Bible, with a, with a, with a Christian Bible. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. I, I, and okay. he goes I, to his church. That. I go to mine. Occasionally we might, we might, you know, intermingle, but for the most part, you know, we still have our beliefs. We still, of course, believe in God, but you know, all the little details and what they might believe that's a little bit different from the Catholic faith that, you know, that doesn't matter to me because overall we still believe in a God. Okay. Well, and like I said, like I said, it's, it's about being, like I said, it's being married is like, it's about being one, I guess. And whether you choose, like, but you still, I mean, yes, it's about being one, but it's also you, you're your own person before that marriage. You're the yeah, own I, person. Right. I hear, I, I hear that and I do get that, what you're saying, but I guess I'm not, maybe I'm having a um, hard time understanding the fact that y'all don't discuss it at all. No, no, not at all. Not at all. She didn't say it at all. She said they do discuss it, but it's not off, it's not a, it's not a major topic. Okay, all right, but okay, that's part of what I uh I missed. It's not a major okay. topic. No, no, no. So if it if so it if it comes one. up or when we do happen to have Bible study or if there's something I want to attend or you know, when it comes up, it comes up and we talk about it, but it's not something that I make a point to bring up every day. Or even okay, well, if, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not saying no, that yeah, yeah, so often. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. So all, gotta, right. all right. It's just so no. Gotta, gotta move it. I gotta get it moving a little bit quicker. I gotta get it through it because I, I know I know Donna be in religion. He'll go on it all damn day. But, um, <laughs> I may cut out. Um, I'm going upstairs now. I may cut out. Okay. I'll okay. be back. I don't want to see no panty draws landing. But well, you're right. Go ahead and cut it on. <laughs> but um, so so moving on. Last question into this religion topic. Last question of religion topic is if your person believes in not practicing sex before marriage. And I have a sex before marriage. Are you, I mean, could you go along with it? And that depends on, and it, it doesn't matter how long it's going to take to get married, but it's just, would you go along with that situation? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Jazzy, I'm going to let Jazzy go. Jazzy, Jazzy got a short time. Um. <laughs> If I came across somebody who sex before marriage was a thing to do, I would probably like we can't. We want to try something. We may not have to fool. That was toys for somebody getting off somewhere. I mean, y'all have a good uh, long, a long. That's still have a good long sex. Session. That's still nah. sex. <laughs> you not nah, then nah, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna work for me then it ain't gonna work. It's nothing, nothing, nothing. I can't. Like, 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 I, Nothing. I mean, you could kiss. You just, so, so, kiss. so, not even like yeah. masturbation, right? Because I'm a masturbate. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, what, what, what you do? What you do in your own private time is your business. But to the end of an actual relationship with each other, he don't want to have. He don't want to share the flesh of the body. <laughs> with oh, well. I mean, I mean, he, it's not a one. It's, it's, it's not a one, but it's an actual like it, it, it's what he believed in. So he never. It, it's not that he don't know when he want to marry you. He's not ready. So you just like look. I'm flat out. Well, it, okay. I ain't gonna say completely no. It depends. If it's if it's that right one, then okay. But me knowing <laughs> that's hard to say. That's hard to say at this point in time in my life because I'm single. So I don't know. <laughs> Fred, what you got, girl? What you got? Oh my goodness! I need yeah, to know all the specifics sex. because uh, this is about to give me a panic attack. Um, <laughs> okay. I need to know all the specifics. 
because okay has he ever had sex before that's that would be my first question okay if we, were, if we are waiting for sex before marriage in our relationship have you ever had sex okay what if he said he did and he had, if his answer was okay if he has had sex okay then i would ask him probably i, I would hate to ask his body count because i don't want him to ask me that but at least I know he has some experience, you know. <laughs> but my next, my next thought would be to be like, okay, well, how many partners have you had? You know, that's what that's what that would be my next thought. But I probably wouldn't mm -hmm. ask him that. Okay, okay. Hold on, um, Friday, if, if you're busy, man. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, uh, sorry, man. go ahead. Sorry to cut off. Abs absolutely, absolutely. I can uh, respect that. If that's what she wants. 100%. No matter the body so count, even, no matter no matter the religion, no matter how it, it cuz I feel like we well, we going to get in on this later on according to you but I, I guess I got a different feeling about what love actually is. <laughs> and I feel like if you really love slash care about this person you freeze on. So <laughs> <laughs> if you really love and care about them. Really love, right. If you really love slash care yeah. about them, I feel that I ain't gonna say come with ease, but it should be but not, not as that hard, right? not as hard, not as hard. Yeah, both what you said and what I said. <laughs> But, but that's what I'm saying though, because uh, and, and with that with that tagged on to that. So like you said, friend, yes, they had they had sex before, you know, but they, they decided let's say they had a let's say they had a, a whole pass. We all had a whole pass. Let's say you had a, a, a right. whole pass. And you're like, you know what? I need to cleanse my body, I need to cleanse my mind. No, that's different. Okay. You didn't say it. That. That's different. Right. I mean, that's I'm different. Cause when he saying he waiting, I'm thinking he waiting with every relationship right. he had. Like right. well, that's that's on this support. Like, yeah, like saying, he's but, damn near a virgin. Well, I mean, no, he's a born again virgin. No, I can understand the whole phase and you clear and you won't start over. I respect that. Yeah. I can work with right. you on that. Yeah. Because damn it, I yeah. might need that same clan too. But so, I can so I, takes, now that I can I can. What'd you say? So but what if it takes longer than what expected? Like let's say I mean two years go that I, line. I mean, no matter how in that kind of situation, I understand it more than how you had just said it. In that situation, I understand because that means that person has gone through some things for them to be at that point of why they are willing to go that route. Now that I can understand. Yeah. I'd be willing to work and do, and do the same thing because then we'll be going through it together. You'll know the emotions of everything that they're going through too as a person who had sex versus a person who never had sex and they just ain't having sex until marriage because that's strictly their religion and they never done it, they're a virgin. That's a difference. How you explain right. it, it makes a lot more sense. I'll agree to that. I'll agree to that too. Because me being experienced, um, <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily want a sacrifice <laughs> virgin, as they say. <laughs> right. So, but what, now, now, but what, now, what you, what you, now, now we said it. Now, would you continue with a virgin? If she was a virgin, she falls for you. She knows what well, he falls for you too. That he knows that. Okay, I want you. I can see myself with you. But this is one situation. I want to wait. I don't know what time. And that I will add to, I hope they can show the same respect that I can give them by putting a time limit on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I respect you enough to like, like I said, yeah, I can wait easily. You know, probably if I care about you or slash love you like that, absolutely. Without, with no hesitation, I, I can respect that. But you should respect me knowing that I've already ventured through the fields and <laughs> so so, saying, so, right. so now now with that being said with everything now now y'all finally get married. I mean y'all finally get married and you know this person is very inexperienced. Mm -hmm. Do you stay with that and teach them and take the time uh... and patience? Yeah. Yep. You already don't wait yep. that long. That's exactly what exactly. you <laughs> That going off what she said, yes, that one and two, 
you, yeah. Like, again, if I loved you enough to say I do after all of this, then right. it can't. Okay, I ain't never had no bad, so I don't know. I can't per se talk on what exactly is bad sex. Mm. <laughs> But oh, you know what bad you know what bad sex is. Everybody but, bad. But but again, at the same time, how can it be really that bad? Well, at least coming from a at least coming from a uh, not being a I can I can understand a little bit coming from being a male. Okay, I get that. You know, size does matter, no matter what you guys say. No, it does not. It's how you use it. <laughs> But it does matter. That, it does. It does. But it's two. It's two and two. Size does matter. I mean, also, I mean, I mean, ma- also the I mean, you can't, well. work, you can't work with nothing. So okay, a little bit matters. Okay, yeah. see, there you I'm go. Saying, but you so don't wanna, size you don't, does I mean, matter. No, 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 and again, we gonna switch that over to the sex part. It, so okay. so, so oh, it, okay. being able to know how to use it as well. So being being a male, I understand that from the ladies' point of view. But okay. I never had bad vagina per se, so I can't say how can so it be you, that bad to where okay we got to get it a norm in now. Well, you never open up a, <laughs> a clamshell. Nah, nah. Okay, I never, right, anyway. I, I never messed with nobody who was uh who was dirty. So I oh. guess lucky, I guess. <laughs> but um, no, oh no, wow. No. <laughs> Uh, so, all right. So, 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 one thing that's touching this, uh, one thing we touched on this part of this this segment was that if you love a person, you're willing to do anything. You not anything. You're willing to wait for them if that if that's what they need, right? If we agree mm-hmm. on that, right? So let's move to the love part because of that. So, 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 so basically, you're saying that your love will allow you to do things probably you probably won't normally do. Because you love that person, you would do things you would normally do. So, mm-hmm. do you do you think that like being in love is a a a a, a I would say compound, but is a is a is a is a part of being in a good relationship? Oh, like, man, could you really love? Right, could you really love a? Could you really be in a in a, in a committed relationship if there's no love? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, you can strongly, you can strongly like them, but look, how, how is it committed if there's no love? I mean, I'm not. I, how I would, is there a commitment would, if there's no love? I'm, I mean, I'm not some with nobody else. Use, some people use it for the benefits. There, uh, some people don't fully love. It's like okay, what? A lot of people stay together even though they don't love each other, but they've established so much together. That's why you have a lot of people who have open marriages and all that stuff. They have love for each other, but the in love, a lot of them aren't. It's about mm-hmm. what they've already built and grown. You see a, a lot. People who are together and they build all these businesses and all this stuff, they do their thing, but they connect it for the business stuff. A lot. Now it's different from back in the day. And even back in the day, Papa was Rolling Stone. Grandma say because you want a free woman to work and all that stuff, but they knew what was going on, so it's a hit or miss. You some people See, do truly love, some people only still there for the benefits of what you can get out of it. But is that commitment though? Well, like, you can still be committed. You can yeah, still be committed, and I, you still be committed. Okay, but, I, but why I say that? Go ahead, go ahead. Well, what I mean by commitment, or what I'm getting from the word commitment, meaning that you still not going to do anything else outside the relationship that the other party don't know about. Right. So, what you was that? What you, what, uh, what, what what is your name again? I'm sorry, Jazzy. I, I'm looking at the thing, screen. Big body uh, bands. <laughs> what you have stated at the at towards the end of your your statement is that they know about it. So if they know about it, okay, it's, I guess you're committed to the new circumstances or the new commitment now, but prior, without yeah, love, if, is there if really they, commitment even without if God they're, Even if they cheating, they are still committed to their marriage because of what the benefits still thereof. 
some people but will do be they with the know about who, that do they know about the, the other person the other, yeah, do the do, other do the husband know about the wife cheating okay okay say say say, say me and you that's what that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying so that's where well, that's what i'm coming from from my perspective say me and you married mm-hmm. and i'm doing my thing out in the streets or mm-hmm. outside of the marriage mm-hmm. you know about all of that let's just say you know about all of that right, right. you are committed to the relationship still because you're here and you know about it but I'll, let's just say you don't know about it I'm still doing my thing you find out about it are you staying because you're committed to the relationship or are you staying because of what you said benefits that's not really I don't see that as really committed to the relationship well, I see that as you well, just staying because of benefits well, tell you're, still to committed, you're still committed but, to that but relationship because you're we, staying rather, no matter doing, no matter which way it go you're still there right. for whatever reason you might not you're committed to the benefits okay. you're committed to that person for whatever reason right. Okay, let are you doing you on, your thing? Let me tell are you, you on doing the, your thing. They very well both could be doing. Let me tell no, you. No, 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 no. I mean, that happens though. That happens though. You, though. Though. Happens, though. you oh, can right. bring you, you right can, now. Oh, are you, are you? I'm talking about me and you now. We're so married. I'm doing you, my thing. Right. You find out about it, but you still stay because of the commitment of the benefits. Now, are you doing your thing as well, or are you staying committed to what we have as a marriage, benefit or not? The type of person I'm doing, I am. I'm probably doing my shit too. But as long as the mer- what we get, what our foundation that we built, business wise or whatever the case may be, our children, mm-hmm. and we work, can work that out. Where me and you doing what we need to do to keep that shit together, how it's supposed to look outside looking in. Yeah, we keep that shit together. But you can do you. Make sure you cool. Don't bring uh, shit back here. Don't have he... nobody knocking on my door either. And I ain't gonna no. have nobody coming okay, at but that was, Okay, that's do I know that like now, do you're doing that in the relationship now? Do I know that you're doing Did you tell me this? Or would the you tell me this? The type of person I am, because I've had a situation before, and, and when mm-hmm. I wasn't happy, I mm-hmm. stated the fact that I All was right. not happy. Cool, yeah. cool. I, okay, I see so it. What I, he, get what, it. I get it. What he I didn't say is, I'm a sexuality coach too, so I had these kind of conversations. So I know a lot of stuff that has been told, and I know a lot of people who stepped out, but they still are in their marriages because how long mm-hmm. they've been together and what their foundation has become, what they built, they actually lose, but they mm-hmm. move around. It, okay. It, I just wanted to know: Does both parties know about this? I, that's what it, I want to know. If both I mean, parties know not or not, not, that's the thing. If the both time. parties know or not. The person but, who's stepping out, still coming back, there's still something there. Like, whatever the case may be, something is lacking in their relationship, in their marriage that they're not getting, that's making them stray away. But, and this is usually men, but they're still taking care of home. No, 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 no. I, I don't not, see that I'm as not, commitment. Not, no, 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 no. I don't see that as like commitment. That. You don't see that as <laughs> commitment because I think you're thinking commitment like they're committed to that person. When you have <laughs> stuff that you build together, y'all Shoot. been together, you don't want, you might, y'all dealing with each other. A lot of people deal with each other. They're committed to what they've established. Dang, they're comfortable. A, a adapter. They're comfortable Dang. with what's going on. So they don't stray. If they do stray, they might know, they might not know, but they still okay. come home at the end of the day to keep their foundation right. that they built together. Okay, I, 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 no I understand. Done. I understand. I get it. I understand. See, friend, see, friend, I'm telling you, girl, it got hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, so I understand. You know I just, I just want to, I just want to, y'all, see, my phone tripping so much. <laughs> no, I, I got, I, I got what you were saying. I definitely got what you were saying. Okay, okay hey, all right. My thing is, but my thing is, though, Donnie, man, you got to think about it. And we're going to talk back what she said earlier. Your, your grandma, your grandmother. Oh, that don't, you, that don't count. That don't count. Let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say, listen, 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 listen. I already know listen, where you coming listen, from. Go ahead. Listen, don't say, oh, listen, got, though. Got an idea. Your, 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 your grandma, your grandma, your grandma stayed there with Willie Earl mm-hmm. this whole damn time. Mm-hmm. Willie Earl was out here mm-hmm. skinning and grinning the whole damn yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> grandma knew, grandma knew, yeah, 
Yeah, she might got one, damn it. I got that bag at home. I got the See, money at home. It's, it's, I look at that as a completely different thing because oh, back, back, uh-huh. in, back in the day, back in the day, and as well as today, um, we back in that. I feel, I feel like females are are. Not this is headphones too. Oh, sweet, thank you. Um, I feel like females and males, period, are programmed to be males and females, and especially, I feel like, it especially hits that much more harder when it comes to females because from birth, y'all are bred to be somebody's girl versus being yourself. So, grandma. She was she was gonna stay because first of all they all believe in freaking God back then and God said y'all gotta stay together. Kind of, he really didn't say that in the book, but kind of. Then grandma gonna stay no matter what, just because uh, she was bred. Nah, don't, she was don't, bred. don't get it twisted. Oh, grandma okay. might have, grandma okay. might have wandered too, and granddad. I mean, she that's what I'm saying. But she, she might have pulled a balloon to the side once that. or twice. <laughs> Yeah, I hear that too. I hear that too. But right back in the day, grandma was gonna stay no matter what, just because that she was bred to stay. But it's not about that. I think <laughs> I think that I, but I think that the value of marriage back then was taken way more serious. Oh, are you serious? No, 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 no. Let me let me let me say it. Let me yeah, say, it. say it. Let me say it. Let me say it. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. Compared to now, it was taken more serious back then than it was now. Hmm? And I only, I only think that because back then, like I said, women I, really they were they had to be in the home, so they, she couldn't right. move out and do what she like we can now. So yeah, it was a little bit more only like it comes back, it all comes back to the benefits of what was going on within a marriage. So they took a lot more than we take now. Well, they couldn't go out and get a job because he took care of financial stuff and you took care of home. Mm-hmm. Friend, what you got to say? I'm sorry. I know you were trying to cut it in. What you got to say, friend? <clears throat> <laughs> I was going to say the same thing as Jazz. Like, I think it's still, marriage is still taken as serious, but because of all the options that are out there and now people are more aware of what's going on, you know, in the people's marriages or just what's going on in the world period that you you see well I don't have to just take Willie Earl bullshit because he's sleeping around with Becky around the corner. I could go meet, you know, John and live down the way and Willie Earl, Willie Earl go meet Becky and I'll go meet John because John been hitting me up in my DMs anyway, you understand? But back then they didn't have all that because Willie Earl was all they knew. Just like Jazz says, she has to be in the house she didn't have transportation. Maybe she didn't know how to drive, so she couldn't get to John. John couldn't well, call her on her house phone. You know what I'm saying? Because there were no cell phones. I, I do feel like this right. I do feel like the women back in those days they was more creative with it. So they're like, "Cool, we can't get to John, but the mailman right here, mm-hmm. he's delivering these packages. Let me go mm-hmm. ahead and slide him some while 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 we're real early at work. So I can right. go ahead. And, <laughs> I can go ahead. Go ahead. Let him uh, let, let, let him let him step right. real quick, and we're going for our business. Yeah. So, <laughs> oh, I was yeah. laughing at the whole. The thing. options were slim. Yeah. It, it, uh, okay, so yeah, back, so back to the love. I, I agree. <laughs> the options were slim, <laughs> and they didn't have said, all the independence that women <laughs> these days have. Right, 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 right. So, yeah. Go ahead, man. I, I'm a. Um, <laughs> like, what you call that? Uh, um. What you call that? Uh. A uh, hopeful. Uh, no, I, I forget what it's called, but yeah, I, yeah, I just don't agree that religion. I don't agree marriage was taken more serious about that. I don't think marriage ever was taken serious, honestly, throughout the well, history I think, of marriage. I think, I think, really? I think, nope, I, not even today. I, 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 I kind of, like, I think, I, I kind of feel, I kind of felt like marriage was taken serious on one party back in the day than it was on the other. I yes, mean, because a lot of time, a lot, was a lot of, to be. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't about being bred. Uh, it wasn't okay. just about being bred. It was the fact that back bread, in those days, man. Well, I'm, saying, I'm saying, but as a man, I'm, I'm speaking this as a man. As a man doing my research about stuff, a lot of times, especially back in the early like 1900s, 
it was shown that okay, if you was a, if you wanted if you want let's say you wanted jazz, right? You want a jazz. You had the right to go jazz your minds. You're my property now. Jazz couldn't. She couldn't. She couldn't fight it. She couldn't have a, it too much fight. She like she couldn't do too much of a fight up against it. It was too much of a fight up against it because because there was a family. She had family members who probably and again ties into the day mm -hmm. who have been like you know, he, you know Will Earl got you know Will Earl got money. That's you might want to go ahead and take that. That still goes on now in different religions. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. And the reason why I say I feel like marriage was never ever well, one of the reasons marriage was never ever taken serious because females are females are not valued in the world, period. Like mm. you value a female because I'm assume, assuming you do because we're here talking, you have a wife, and what you yeah, say yeah. about and what you say about her, I value right. females is because what I feel like I say and how I treat my own wife, but right, right, right. As, a, as, as a whole, generally, females right. are not valued in the world, and it shows it in the media all the time. And this most females are most definitely not valued in religion, especially Christianity. Yeah. I think all religion, that one. So that's religion, why. It's, I, not, it's, it's not. I think. I mean. I think in certain parts. Yeah, the females are not valued in in religion because it was always made the man this right here. Everything was the man because, but, but you got to think about it too, though. The man was more responsible to take care of home. I see. It was. I, it was the I, man. I, if you look, if you look back, and you you know it. You look back. It was a lot of the man had to go out and work. The man had to bring home the bacon. The man had to do this that, and the third. The man had to make sure the kids, to make sure the kids had clothes and stuff. In. The woman had to make sure that the kids had a good. A good a good viewpoint on life and make sure they was at home when while they're at home they, they they she made sure the kids are dressed she made sure the kids homework was done i mean so yeah. everybody i guess back in those days but, everybody had a role to play but that's the part that i feel like males and females are groomed to be males and females like mm -hmm. neither one of us neither one of us are are groomed to be ourselves what we want to be or who we want to be neither one of us again i put more emphasis on the female because because of again it's a white it's a man's world but it's a white man's world and, right and going off what what they uh going off what the bible says going off what they what the government says going mm -hmm. i did not know this i just found out that females are according to the world females are literally born with a technicality which is they they're uh they won't ensure pregnancy because that's a predetermined pre-existing pre illness and I'm like, oh, what? Mm. If you could, just because you're born a female, you're destined to have a kid because Hello. that's what you are meant for, especially in religion Hello. and again being unvalued in the no, world. Sir. That's what you are meant for. So you are pre-existent okay, to be in this condition. Therefore, we want to assure you. Right. 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 I do feel like this right here, though. I feel like nowadays, look, I, I, I agree and I slow, I slightly disagree. I agree with you on this, bro, because I do feel like, yo, we all, especially if you're speaking on the past, we all had our own assignments as a gender to do. We, yeah, I agree it, with it that. Was the man's, it was the man's job to to work. It was the wife's, it was wife's job to be a homemaker. But we look, we fast forward in the last. Don't 20 totally years. agree with that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, I mean, like, I mean, at that time frame, you look, we look, we talk yeah. about, we yes, talk about yes. the 30s. 30, 40s, 50s, 60s. That was the thing. Late 60s to 70s is when we had to change our more independence. We need to go back further than that, actually. We need to go no, back we, like I, centuries, we, like millenniums. We're we, we just, we just, we <laughs> we just going to cap it down. We're going to cap it down for the example, okay? So, <laughs> but I'm saying, so don't say no. Yeah, but I do feel like in the last 15, let's say 15 years, we see a shift in, 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 in the way people are viewing each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The way people are viewing themselves nowadays, and and I guess I mean I kind of ain't with this whole like like choosing your own sex type thing, but 
<laughs> but I mean that's a, that's a whole nother. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna have to have that conversation because cause I'm ready to I'm ready to argue over that one. We're gonna have to have that conversation. <laughs> like look, look, that's that's something we can talk outside off of this line. I don't know how to, look, I don't want to get that <laughs> <laughs> man, because I'm, I'm not I'm not one hundred I'm not one hundred I'm not saying that you shouldn't I'm just real quick. I'm not saying that you can't choose what you want to be, whatever that's you. I don't, saying, my thing is, I'm my thing, my thing, you can't listen, listen, choose my, what you want to be. My, but my, thing, my, thing, my thing is, my thing is, no, here's my thing is, I don't believe it in the church. I think when you got, when you get a certain age to make your own choices, mm-hmm. then you make that choice. But when you're still a child, that's not your choice to make. But that's because we black. Exactly. <laughs> that's right. that, you know, right. culture and, and, and that's turn. because yes. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> black people believe that children shouldn't have a voice. You know, you a child, you need to stay in a yeah. child's place. I don't want to hear your opinion. Not, I don't want to hear your feedback. I don't agree. With I don't want to hear nothing. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Agree. I don't agree with that. I don't believe a child don't have a voice, but I believe a child has no uh, meaning, no reason to be in this conversation that we're having right now or any other adult right. type of conversation. Right, right, right. <laughs> so I, right. Think it, I, I do think it, it's both cultural. Like, <laughs> it, 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 that's, that, that's definitely what it is. I think yeah. now that it's more common, both mm-hmm. cultures are starting to support Ooh. the child in it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's yeah. mamas. That's mamas. All right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, in some cases, now no, wait, wait, ain't no mama. And why it gotta be mamas? Because mamas are more. Again, this this goes down into how we were our program. Again, I don't necessarily, I don't agree with the programming, but mm-hmm. we do have to deprogram ourselves, or I ain't gonna say deprogram, reprogram ourselves. Because yes, women, the moms are more prone to be the kid's friend versus what the dad will be in the in the uh, situation in the, in the relationship. And again, if, if, if we get back to culture, though, I don't believe that, though, because in the black culture, a lot of women are, are the mother and the father. So uh, a lot of them go. don't. This I mean, I mean, but uh, we know what, you know, we know what, No, 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 no. I'm cool. I'm always I thought we were talk. getting off I don't of that. Know. I don't know. Hey, you're the mom and dad. We need to get back to the love. We need to get back to the love. We need to get back to the love. We can talk about the love, but I just. I just want to say one thing in his in response to his uh, mm-hmm. comment about the mom being the friend or the mom being more of more the one of that's the prone friend. to right more of the friend. I think it's because women, not necessarily moms, but women are more open minded than men. Ooh, nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, all right, all right. If you, you, if you, oh, okay, we ain't gonna have this. You gotta cap it, man. You gotta cap it. You gotta cap it. You gotta cap it. Okay, cap it. Cap it. Cap it. It's gonna, it's gonna get something. We're gonna gonna have to have a part two to this. We're gonna have to have a part two. I love this conversation with you guys and guy Hey, so, so back to the little part. So we, so we, how we severely steer left. Oh, my bad. That's that's my bad. We people hey, hey, steer hey, left hey, when I'm around. My bad. Not, Probably because I'm not, doing the steering. On your podcast, I drove us off the cliff. Don't feel bad. Right. You know, you know what? I wasn't gonna say that, but yeah, yeah. I'm still <laughs> healing. I'm still healing. <laughs> I drove us off the cliff. We went, we went a whole different conversation. But uh, but no, man. But um, so back to the love part, y'all. So in in relationships, man, and I do I do believe I believe that. To be in a successful relationship, you gotta have a, a a a component of love. I gotta have some form of I love you for me to be. Hmm. I said me. I said me now. Me. I said for, for me to be in a relationship with you. Now I could be single and mm-hmm. do what the hell I want to do, and I show no damn real love to you. I don't have to love you to, to sleep with you. I don't have to love you to want to hang out with you. I don't have to love you. I can. I have slept with somebody I hated before. You nasty. Like, Goddamn, you dirty. <laughs> dirty, 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 dirty. But, <laughs> but, but you probably was the best. 
<laughs> look, look, you married, you know. you're gonna sleep with somebody that you hate often. But, and, <laughs> exactly, exactly. exactly. You know, my name, my name, so that's a loop. That's a loophole. That's a loophole. You know what I don't know who women, 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 women. I have to I have to cancel that um last statement I made because I uh, anything happened before October 9th did not count. Um anyway. <laughs> I was uh, uh, before I got married. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> oh, right, but no, right. But no, but that was saying though. So I feel like yo, you don't have to be. I feel like for me to be in a relationship with a person, I gotta have some form of love, of 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 of, of seeing us. Not even not even in love with a person. Not even in love with a person. Because I don't believe. I believe once you're in a relationship, the in love part will come. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You don't. I don't think. Excuse me. I don't. I believe that you know what I'm saying. We believe we, we move by lust at first sight instead of love at first sight. Uh huh. You know, what I'm it's saying? absolutely but lust at first sight. No matter what you. I do feel like I do feel like we're more <laughs> lust at first sight because we, we, you know. So I do feel like for me to be in a person, I have to have have some kind of love for him. But with that love, and we all been there, have it ever drove you to do things that you wouldn't normally do for that relationship? Would you, ladies, would you take a man who had cheated on you because you loved him? When you take them back, or fellow, like Donna, would you take? Let's say you'll say your wife had a nasty ass attitude, and you got to deal with it every fucking day, but you love her, so you wouldn't to put, put up with it. Like, have you ever done anything that that <laughs> love kind of love? Kinda, I mean, I mean, look, look at her in the back. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, hey, but I'm, saying, but I'm, saying, but I'm like, not even just, just your current relationship. Not, not, just, not just your current relationship. I mean, because we all have been some form of married or or something like that, or married now. But we all have been through, we all had other people before the person we were. Right. Have, have, has it ever been a point in, in any relationship you've ever been in that love kind of put that, put that blinder on you where well, you couldn't see the real shit? For me, I'll say yes. Okay. I've been in that type of relationship where I, I love them blindly. Like, regardless of what he or she may have done, I because I was so much in love, I was willing to overlook it or accept it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, this is, but, this is it. Right. Her. But <laughs> I would... I wouldn't continue to overlook it just because I'm in love. Like at some point I would, you know, we'd have to have this conversation. Like you done did this one too many times and your attitude sucks. So we got to change this or something got to change, you know, know, whatever the case was, we have to have a conversation once it becomes too much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Dr. Jazzy, anybody? I agree. I agree. Uh, Can you hear me? I get you good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got it. my headphones not even uh, plugged in no more. So you on speaker. So I hope you don't hope cool. mess up your audio because I gotta charge my phone. <laughs> it will sound better. I ain't gonna say it no loud, but all right. <laughs> so uh I just have to this is a good question in my situation because I want I I, I kind of say yeah, but mm-hmm. no, I haven't been. I haven't been blinded by love. Mm-hmm. And I say that because like me and my wife, we 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 literally grew up together. It's like okay. I mean, not grew up from birth, but we've been together since the seventh grade. Straight up. Damn. Seventh grade. And that's like that's, that's 25 it. plus years and been married for eleven. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. So, she creates you in the back. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say eleven. That, you know? <laughs> yeah, so it had to be twelve this year, so that's why I was okay. say twelve. So we we grew up. The sad thing about growing up in this mm-hmm. in my situation is that uh, a lot of people. Okay, you grow up together, but you yourself really mm-hmm. don't really grow up until your thirties. Okay. So we still at the same time we're learning off each other and making fast mm. large mistakes mm. within the relationship because we're kids. Right, and right. her folks suck. Both 
pops and moms. <laughs> so we didn't. She didn't have nobody to really talk to on that aspect. And if she did right. talk to somebody, it was grandma. And you, right, we talked right. about grandma already growing up in that mindset. <laughs> right, 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 so, right, 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 right. And, and my, my pops, my where my people, where my people jacked up as well. Hold on, hold on. I got a, I got a feedback. Yep, that's it. Okay. My people's jacked up as well. So only person I really had to talk to was my or, or not had to talk to. I had some people to talk to, but the ones that I really talked to was moms and my older brother. Mm-hmm. Come to find out, my older brother just as nuts as I didn't even know how nuts he was. <laughs> but okay. my mom is a scorned woman. She's been beaten from by my dad when I was mm. younger. So I can't really go off nothing about her because all us are evil anyway. <laughs> mm. So hold on. So 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 let me tie that into the into the topic. Mm-hmm. So and I'm not and I'm not speaking. I mean, your mom not here to tell her story, and I don't want to jump into nobody's personal stuff too. Oh much. no, it's, it's all good. It's but all good. but my thing, but my thing is that's that what I'm saying. I know a lot of women who stay in abusive relationship because mm-hmm. they they love that person. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I, and I feel like and, and I feel like love. I I feel like love is love can be. It's a tricky thing. It can be the sweetest thing in the world, but it can hurt you the most. Oh, it, it and absolutely I, breaks you more than anything else in the world, in my opinion. But that's right. the thing between me and my wife's. That's that's us. We had when I say we we went through marriage counseling, mm-hmm. and it was cats way older than us like senior age Mm -hmm. and we both in there like that's it that's that's what y'all ain't here for you know we like and and we young as heck saying things like that so we've been through a lot and yes love played a part and yes i that's why i tell you it's kind of iffy about was i blind or not because Mm -hmm. now that i'm older and Mm -hmm able to understand what we've been through more i'm not blaming it on blind i'm mm-hmm. blaming it totally on my upbringing what, mm-hmm. my growth what i took in as as experience and putting that on to the relationship without mm-hmm. my knowledge All right, you. Got you. um so well i don't know if jazzy is still there i'm here see i'm now. here Okay. You have anything you want to share? You have anything um, you want to share to talk about? I don't. I don't <laughs> know if I was necessarily okay. blinded by. I won't say as far as like cheating. Um, it was really vice versa. So I didn't have that problem of if he cheated on me, if I stayed type thing. It was more so other things that went on that was brought up mm-hmm. in a marriage until it got to a point where nothing, nothing was being fixed. It was still arguments, things like that, where it got to the yeah. point where then we eventually you know separated but i mean at some point at a time not knowing like he said we had to grow in order to know we didn't know we're trying to figure it out as we going through this new thing you learning this person this person learning you it's it's a lot that come into it it depends on how you are as a person and how your growth becomes if you're growing and elevating and this person is still holding you back you can continue to be held back. Okay. Some people are people who can't, who feel they can't be alone. Well, how do you change and fix that too? So there's a lot of different components to that. Okay. So, so with me real quick, me real quick. With me, I had situations. I think I was, I was kind of different than you, Donnie. So my thing was with me. I was like, I grew up, like I say, I grew up, moved around my whole life. So I lived with my my mom until she passed, grandmother, and my dad. Okay. So I never seen an actual like 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 couple living in the household with me. You get what I'm saying? So with me, I also also moved off like I guess I guess being a single man trying to make it. So what I did was instead of me having that one person I can make the mistakes with, I went to different women and made my mistakes with. And that was my thing was growing up for me. I, and then my and, and my thing was when I was That's single, I'm like stereotype, I man. That's why we got don't say, but don't say, but don't say. I know, I know, I know, I know women who get down with the get down don't care. Yeah, but I'm saying, I don't blame one. I know, 
<laughs> but don't say with me, with me though, with me though, like you said, when I was single, yeah, I'm single. I, it's like it's like a switch in my mind kind of turn off. The love switch kind of turn off in my mind when I'm single. Then when I got into a relationship, I I, I focus so much on the love, trying to be in trying to be in love in a relationship as an adult. You know, so I tried to be in love, and it didn't work out a lot. So a lot of the times. It was stuff that, like, I know normally I'll be like, man, nigga, what the hell is you doing? Why is you with this chick? She ain't, she ain't worth it. I mean, I had one chick actually cheat on me, and I caught her. <laughs> I had one chick cheat on me before. I did. And that's a sad part. That was the, and, 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 that, but I, and then I thought about it in my head, like, like and, and it's crazy because I was young. I'm, like, young. And we had a little mess. We we went on, like we argued, we broke up for a quick, like maybe week, and we got back together. But then that tied in my head, like, okay, cool. But, the, but when we got back together, I'm like, in my head, I still couldn't see her that same person anymore. Mm-hmm. I couldn't see her as that person I was in love with. So the love I did have was completely gone. Now I'm in a situation now that I'm in a situation, not a relationship no more. And why do you I'm, think I, that you saw her differently? Because the person that in my head for me was, I couldn't see you as. I, I, I feel like everything you were saying to me after that moment was a lie. You know what I'm saying? The mm-hmm. things you said to me before you before I found out was a lie that I felt at the time. You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong. And we've got me, and this, say, and, after and, what after after what again? After I found out that she had cheated. Oh okay. All right, all right, all right. So here's my here's my here's my thing is then the male ego in my mind plays a part. Because the male ego in my mind like all oh, these damn bitches I could have been fucking the whole fucking time. I could have been fucking the whole fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> damn it. And yeah, that's a whole other conversation think, we need to I have think that's a person's yes. ego. <laughs> that's that's just a person. I mean, and that's the real shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, damn. And then, and what crazy was, which was, was, and I and I blame this on probably being young at the time, because getting back, what made me being toxic was getting back with that situation, knowing that I wasn't, I wasn't in love with you again. I'm not loving right. you. Anymore. I shouldn't went back to that situation because now we gonna fight now. We ain't gonna argue no more. We ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be cute no more. I ain't gonna be, that, I ain't gonna be your boyfriend no more. I ain't your lovey dovey man no more. Now I'm, now I'm gonna be a little more savage with it. So now I'm like, you know what? Shit, I'm gonna text this chick right here too. Because I know eventually you texting him. And it took me a long time to get out of that mindset for a lot of stuff. So when we broke up, and it would take, this is the realest shit. When we broke up, I tried to find validation in it by sleeping with different women after that. And that was what happened. The tra- to try to get over it, I said, let me just go ahead and holler at different girls. I'm gonna just I mean, and I turned on the person the different type of personalities I had for different women who had every type of thing. And and I realized I felt more alone after that than I ever was. Until I had to I had to stop for a minute. I had to stop messing with anybody and actually and be honest with you, I became celibate for a little bit to just sit back and stop and say, look, Eric, what the hell are you doing? The next woman you get with. Make sure this the woman you want to be with. So when me and my girl got together, when me and her got together, oh shit, we went through hell at the beginning though. We <laughs> we went through it because I was still getting over who I was. So right. it took me a minute to get my mindset to the place where I'm like, okay, cool. This person's really for me not on some creep shit that I thought my ex was. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So all right, all right. So no, 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 go ahead, go ahead, be about to cry. You know I'm light skin. Yeah. Anyway, hey man, I've been so, already crying. I'm lighter than you. Because you've been outside, <laughs> but one hundred percent light skin niggas don't get dark until until summertime. One hundred percent agree with you, though. Yeah, because I've been down yeah. that road. Okay, 100%. so back to the, now we finna we finna start moving to you to my favorite part. You know what's coming up next. So, in the process of love, last question: the process of love, are you willing to accept? your partner's sexual um shortcomings again i never had had it so i don't know what exactly right. all the shortcomings from a female i only thing i could think of is just you never get wet 
That's the only thing I can think. I can of. think of a few more things as shortcomings for women. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. Speaking. Oh yeah. Oh, you no, said go ahead. Oh, 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 some trash head or no head. Don't want to give no head. Mm. Um, okay. Hold on. Question on that one. Question on that one. What if the your partner don't care about head? Like it's not really their thing. Then that's a win for well, then, well, then it, that's fine, right? But if she doesn't want to give it or doesn't know how, and it's important or it's you know a factor for the other person, yeah, then it could be a detriment to the relationship. Wait, before hold on, but y'all, before we get started in this next um this next subject, I want to say we un we unsponsored by Twix. <laughs> Jazzy is all in the mix, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so if, 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 y'all, Twix. if y'all if y'all know the conversation we had on uh, the root of all sex podcast, <laughs> you know that Twix. <laughs> I can't remember very the Twix conversation. I did. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Twix and libraries. It's two things you need to know. <laughs> and I got <laughs> asked if I was going to the library today. I said, no, I got to record. I can't go to the library today. You should be recording <laughs> from the library. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those days. Where I was just like, oh, she yeah, missed the library no. for me. Well, the other part of Twix wasn't there. The other part of Twix wasn't there. The other part of the fofo was there. The other half of the Twix wasn't there. So, you know. One part of the Twix, he might have one, but the female part of the Twix, he wasn't there. Oh, left Twix was there, but right Twix wasn't there. Right Twix was home, yeah. And fofo went home, so no. Damn. Oh. No, I'm telling you, if you were recorded from the library, this has been a whole different type of podcast. So I would love it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, well, you you Yo. said you said what you wanted to talk about, so I made sure. But Look, if you want to strictly listen. do one type of thing, I probably listen. can get a few in from the library. Listen, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. We would have bypassed the religion. <laughs> we would have bypassed the love. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we would have went straight to the library. <laughs> anyway, y'all. So, hey, what's up, my, man? I think I do recall one. Mm. This was bad. Mm. She was she was loose. Um, mm. so the thing is, so, with the, a lot of times, what the loose chicks don't know is how to keep them. Well, I done had three vaginal births. Shit ain't but, loose. But come to find out. It's kind of obvious why she was loose. Because <laughs> she was loose. Because she, she was loose. Yeah. She was fucking a horse. Later. <laughs> right, and she had the big ones. Right, she probably had the big ones and wasn't doing her Kegels. I'm trying to tell you. You better, girl, you better yeah. sit in that damn bathtub with the vinegar. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> you better sit you in understand. No, that, nobody that, told that, her that, that she needs some that aunties in her life. With that, with that top of vinegar, that, that little cap of vinegar in there. You, you, look, look, y'all. I got, I got, I got people in my in my life. You know, she needs some aunties in her life, but a lot of women don't know things like that, like just the little secrets like that. Put that cap of vinegar, or two caps in that tub, you know, and sit your ass down for 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, just let, <laughs> let it just droop anyway. <laughs> let it marinate, okay? <laughs> so, tell her she needs to listen to the Root of All Sex podcast. Start at season one. Fuck. Move on up to season hey, look, two. My, my, my seat. If, if if any girl, and I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm gonna shout out Root of, Pod, Root of All Sex podcast because I, I I actually I actually go back and listen to y'all episodes. <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm because, shy. Because, Donnie, Donnie, Donnie okay. let me tell you, man, Donnie, it's a situation. I'm, I'm, I'm I start playing in my car because for, anyway, look, so <laughs> <laughs> because he was gonna have a moment like I did in my car. <laughs> We was, we was gonna pull up on him in traffic. Okay. <laughs> what you doing over there, Eric? What man, you doing? Man. Listening to that erotica. Yes, <laughs> well, well, my, my defrost don't work. By your in the car, man. Drag you mad. Right. Never try. Wait a look, man. <laughs> don't like it to you. We do, man. We can find. We do. We use any damn thing. It doesn't matter what the hell a nigga do. We use any damn thing. It doesn't. <laughs> It could be any damn thing. 
Oh shit! Oh, the son. I got the son two, left his stuff in the car. I got two terrible stories about using any old thing. If you want to. Oh hear. lord, I want to <laughs> hear them. Hey, can okay, y'all in one sec? I gotta get my battery for my charger. I mean, for my battery. Uh, yeah. One uh, well, uh, go ahead, yeah. Uh, 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 I say a, a friend of mine. <laughs> he said, "I'm going to give." I see how to try. Oh, God. yeah. He in his head, he thought it would, you know, it'd be exactly how you put on your arm or in your leg or something. You know, the icy and nah. He said it just freaking burnt the heck out of him. Yeah. <laughs> One, and then I told him like, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But one worse than that was another friend. He's uh, mistakenly used Nair oh. <gasps> on purpose. <laughs> Accidentally on purpose. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, the way he explained it is he didn't know what Nair was. He never heard of Nair. He just thought it was another brand of lotion. Yeah. Wow. He so he's said, walking around here with a bottle. He don't know how to read. Uh, uh, the, the last part is a horror story. He said he, he skin was in his hand. <laughs> yeah. He left it on too long. Yeah. Oh, damn. He didn't read the bottle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. First of all, first of all, first of all, three minutes first of all, that bottle say. First, first of all, you said he left it on too long, man. He must have had a long day. <laughs> how you but think no, that was side, man. Yeah. That shit stinks. <laughs> It stinks yeah. and it starts to burn because I've left it on too long before. Because I will put the nair on my legs and then walk around my damn bathroom or start doing other shit in the closet <laughs> and be like, God damn, something is burning. Oh shit, I forgot to put this on my leg. And yeah, so I could see how he could forget, but on your leg is different from your genitals. Yeah, you know? I, yeah, I would think it's a whole lot more sensitive and you will find out a whole lot faster than that. And that, yeah. and so, yeah. so y'all, so y'all, if y'all, so anybody who want to listen to that's how you become uncircumcised. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, you ain't got to help you. Just put that on there. Burn um, it put away. The nail, put the nail on for 20 minutes and see what happens. Un, un, uncircumcised and impotent. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and you'll be celibate real quick because you ain't gonna want to stick nothing in nothing. <laughs> oh my god, hey, that, that sound like it should scare you from masturbating in the future. Oh my god, man. hey yo, hey yo, but my thing was you talking about scared me being celibate. Hell, when, if a girl go down and she see all the damn burnt marks and roll, <laughs> oh, what the man. fuck going on? In church, <laughs> yeah. Yo, look like what is the STD is going on here? <laughs> you, go, you go down there, you go down there, look like Freddy Cougars. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn, no, nah. that's some fucked up shit. Yeah, yeah. So, two so the sex thing, so sex conversation was so. So, like you say, could you be with a person who's who who who's, who have sexual shortcomings? That was said, and you said that you like you're not sure. And Frank, you're a very good a good example. So, friend Jazzy, you been with somebody, y'all into it, but something ain't right. Is you staying? You leaving? <laughs> if something ain't right. Like what? Like, okay, he didn't boast it up that he got this huge, but it's actually the size of your pinky toe. Oh uh, yeah, no. Man, that's a big assumption, man. I ain't no fun boy, but okay, first, I, okay. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not going. <laughs> that's the easy in, one. That's the easy one to start off with. <laughs> in my years, I've learned I ain't assuming what your shit is, honestly, right. because I haven't seen the tallest motherfucker I first spoke with was packing a neck tall motherfucker. I was like, damn, that ain't the same as that tall one. So when I was young, I did I thought the same fucking thing. I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> then you crying. A shorter nigga, he packing. I'm like, well, goddamn. So I go the average ones. I ain't the big one, ain't the little one. But if, damn, if it, he just, it, he just scratched the surface. Yeah. If it's some, if it's something that they don't know, and I think it come a lot with what friend I do. 
it's easier for us to teach because they expecting us. Well, some of the shit they heard. Think we these big freaks who do all this shit all on a regular basis. Sometimes I wish I could do on a regular. Lord, you understand. But <laughs> okay, it's been a stressful day. You hear me? Uh, hey, hey, go ahead, go ahead, take a sip. Come on. <laughs> there you go. I think it. I think we have it as bad if we wasn't as experienced. Before then, yeah, a little fucked up. Like, what the fuck going on? Now, it's like, okay, you're average. It's okay. This is what you do. to how you do this, and you know how you know how to move your body to fit right. So it ain't a bad. But some of you ladies out there, y'all don't have it. You don't. If you don't know your body. He damn sure ain't gonna know it. Mm. Right. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but some some guys, man, we, I mean, we try to figure it out. Though. You know, we we would damn sure. That's the thing, we would, y'all. We would damn. All, we would. And, 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 and that's the sad. But that's the sad point. I think as a dude, man, that's what we do. We go. We go into. We go into sex with our own like mindset. You know what I'm saying? So we not. I'm gonna be. Are we honest with y'all? When you having sex with a man, it's not even a. He's not even thinking about you. He's thinking about what he's gonna do. Mm-hmm. The whole mm-hmm. damn time before you get into the day, he like. Man, I'm gonna flip my ass over this way right here. I'm gonna stretch this way right here. I'm, I'm gonna do every damn thing. I just, you know, Mr. Marcus had this move right here. I'm gonna try this right here. Like, <laughs> we, we, I mean, when we go into it, we go into it our own mindset. You know what I'm saying? And while we in it, that while we in, that's when we focus it on you. Like, yeah, she liking this. But, but don't say it. So, so we, we, I mean, we, we just, we, we're, we are in our own head sometimes about stuff like that. But uh, it, it ain't just a, Oh, I ain't gonna say all, cause like I said, friend and I, we've been told we're a little different. Cause it ain't all just what men think either. She, we think too, like how we gonna fuck y'all up too? Exactly. How we gonna get y'all too? So, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. But it's the same thing. Sometimes we win or lose. I lose. I hate to lose, but you know what I mean. But it goes both ways if you are that comfortable with yourself. To do that. Okay. Okay. Well, I agree. So, you agree. So, so, your answer, Jazz, was you would mm-hmm. accept their shortcomings teach. or teach? Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm for the teaching. <laughs> so, that's so, accepting then, right? Yeah. Right. No, no, not accepting. It's not accepting, technically. It's, I'm not accepting. Gonna... I ain't accepting that. The, what that gonna do? And that's, me? yeah. I mean, I mean, because that's, that's my answer. Depending on what the shortcoming is, what, right? Depending on what I'm the willing to accept. If they, perform, I mean, I mean, if they're just... liking performance, then we work mm-hmm. on what you liking thereof, and then let me see what I can do to help. But if you you can't help the size you get, if your size ain't, if I'm fucking <laughs> and it ain't even up in my coos, what the? I might as well pull out my fucking king that's under my pillow. Hell, that's what. Or that's we're gonna what, have to I mean, buy a pump or something. Just, Okay. That's what I was focused on because he went that that super exaggerated route. <laughs> yeah, he did. He said from big to the size of exactly. a so, so yeah, I like, like I can't. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna say it though, but size. you know what? Like, Hold on, let me let me say that. Let me say this real quick. Let me say why I said that exaggeration route. I have sisters, okay. Mm-hmm. I have sisters. I have three sisters, matter of fact. And they like when you with your sister. I don't know, Donnie. You have sisters, not. They don't mm-hmm. give a damn. They they'll tell you what whatever the hell is going on in their life. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 no lie, no lie. I've literally been sitting there watching TV, and my sister came to me. She's like, "Eric, um, can you tell me what what what, what this is? What, what what he just sent me?" As I, I said, "What you mean?" He like he sent me a picture of his of his thumb. I don't know why he sent me a picture of his of a thumbs up. And I'm like, <laughs> he was confident. Damn. I said, I said, I said, what you mean? I said, what you mean? She like he sent me a picture of him going thumbs up. I'm like. <laughs> Okay, so I see this picture. It like it like it took me like maybe two seconds. But like, oh shit, no, it's not. So I mean, and again, the conversation before that hey, before he sent that picture was, yeah, baby, I got this, that, and the third. I'm here, and I'm this, that, and the third. We had and that boom. conversation. The people who are working with stuff don't brag most of the time on what they get. Exactly. It's the right. people who who shortcoming, as you would say. Who brag and it ain't what they got. Like, just don't say shit. Just don't say nothing. We'd be good deal away because we're going to find out eventually. Right. <laughs> and if you like us, we might check before it happens. 
it send me a pic so I can see. We can measure pretty good from a distance. Some of us. Uh, yeah, I don't like I, getting pics. I, I don't like getting pics. Bitch, yeah, please. Do you and don't like getting pics. You don't. I like get. I picks. get them, but that don't mean I want to get them. I get them, but that don't mean I want to get them. And especially not, you know, the little ones. I don't want to. I don't want to size shame, but <laughs> I don't want to see. I don't want to see none of them because if it ain't about to be, uh, in my face, literally, I don't need to see it. I, I feel you. I feel you. Got you. Got you. <laughs> I ain't single, but if I was, I'm like that. I'm like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know, like I said, for, for, and, and, and as, as for Amanda, we have we have had bad experiences too. I've had in the past, and again, anything happened before October 9th does not matter. <laughs> but um, but in, anyway, I've had in the past. <laughs> <laughs> so it is, it is what I'm saying. But I've had I've had girls who send pictures and that is stressed all the way out and it's, it's like roast beef sandwich. It's not pretty at all. I mean, but they didn't spoke this game up. Like I'd have I one girl talk to me. Her her name was pretty was pretty P on on, on social media. God damn. That I already tell you right there. <laughs> so I'm right. like, I was, and I'm sitting, and I'm sitting there thinking about. It, I'm like, and hold on, anybody listen to it? It's not nobody I'm, I'm currently friends with because I'm be looking for. But it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> but but my thing was, when you see the picture, like, oh, what the hell is this? Like, and I mean, and then you looking like, it's not, it's not attractive looking at all. It's, I mean, and maybe, oh. just, maybe, maybe I'm, a, maybe I'm a guy who cares. Yeah. If I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna be down and I gotta look at it face to face, I don't want to, I don't want to see. A gremlin looking back at me. A, a bat spreading his wings. Exactly. <laughs> looking, looking like uh, Jeepers Creepers. Now. L- looking like I just don't think like any of them are pretty, smiling. regardless of what they look like. I just don't think that's a pretty thing. I wouldn't you consider it to be pretty. You talking about women? Wise, but I, 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 women, I women, that's... women, women especially. I Men, I could probably accept a picture easier from a man than from a woman. Yeah, I was about to say but that's I, because you're not attracted to it. No, but I am attracted to it, but I just feel what? like I just don't, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I'd rather feel it. I'd rather do everything else to it, but I don't need to see it like that. There's not in a pit. There's some pretty pussies out there. There are some. Very- I know there's some pretty ones. <laughs> I've, I've, seen, I've seen a couple pretty ones, but <laughs> But I, again, I still don't need to see it in my phone in a picture. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I, I, you know what? Maybe just me though. That's because... pretty ones because Eric is not the first guy I've heard that said that called it the roast beef. Actually, our, a guy and I had this conversation recently, and he was like, "These women out here having this roast beef, looking, you know, whatever." <laughs> and we, and we and, know what about yeah. No, what about me? Go ahead, go ahead. Oh Lord. <laughs> but I think I think it's a generation that we're so willing to just share ourselves like that, you know what I'm saying, while even thinking about the outcomes of it. You know what I'm saying? I think it's easy for me. Like, men would just send a, a, a dick pic like it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm not going to yeah. say, I mean, not me personally, because okay. anything happened before October 9th it does not matter. <laughs> but I think this saying, new generation, just this new, you know, generation of men. Okay, so young thing, guys. now now we're speaking on young guys and the, sex, and the sexual situations. His friend is a, I'm gonna take a little bit off of your podcast. You said that uh, you were more into the younger guys if you wasn't married, right? If that's not if you have. So I think nowadays younger guys and with younger females, but younger people in general, are so <coughs> willing to try everything. I'm so willing to try everything. I wish I think that more people in our generational group was like, we're gonna save it, we say we're gonna unleash everything in, at marriage. I think a lot of people unleash their freakier side, their real, real side, and try everything when they marry. But I think nowadays, this generation that we have now is so quick to bring it out the gate. Like, I'm gonna eat your ass straight up. And uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's, it's just something now. So without a serious commitment. Well, the serious commitment. So, what is your viewpoint on this new group of sex experts coming in? I guess. <laughs> uh, 
that's I'll, a tough question. Yeah, that is a tough question. The only thing I could think of is just just inexperience with life. <laughs> that's what that's the thing that comes to my head. Cause yeah. <clears throat> and that's that's the best thing I best way I can answer it right now. If you want to feel like that. I don't want to interrupt you. Oh, no, I was saying if you understand that kind of. Yeah, I understand that. But I also feel like it's porn because they are probably the most, you know, porn influenced generation because mm -hmm. I grew up watching porn, but not as much and not as explicit as the porn that they have these days. Mm -hmm. Right. Right, right. And not in abundance, you know. I had to sneak and watch it on HBO at eleven o'clock at night in a dark living room, <laughs> hoping nobody walk in on me, you know. <laughs> but now it's just accessible any time of the day on my phone. I want to watch it. I can go in the bathroom at work and watch it. Boom, <laughs> uh, Jazzy. And that's a terrible thing because that's uh, that's here, what I mean about interference with um, life. Because when, when you realize that in reality, it's, n it's not that. It's not, no, and it's not going to be that every time. Exactly. You know, it might be that sometimes, but every time it's not going to be the choking and spanking and the flipping upside yeah. down and all this for 10 hours. Mm -mm. Yeah. And it's like, right. and, and again, it's, it's, it's kind of like, I look at the word differently because it's, it's kind of like they're going that route because mm -hmm. they've been told that they was going to go that route. Mm. If you, so what, what you mean by that? Like by who? Like you know, by civilization, by mm -hmm. by society. Like uh, I feel like they kind of necessarily don't want to do this just by conversations mm -hmm. I've heard like I'm a merchandiser and I'd be everywhere and I'd be here overhearing conversations <clears throat> and but they're going that route because they feel like they have to mm -hmm. okay to keep up with their friends or yeah, just yeah, to yeah. Like, gotcha. keep up appearances yeah. exactly. gotcha. with gotcha. other women or well, you know with their partner or whatever. Yeah, no, yeah, with just yeah, just to be everybody's looking for some type of affirmation mm -hmm. from 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 wherever they can get it. Mm. Versus mm -hmm. again, versus them being themselves. Like I, I, I like to. I'm an advocate of speak without fear. Like, be yourself, and I don't see that from nobody. Mm -hmm. So I feel like a lot of that is just is driven towards they're going that route because <laughs> they were they're subliminally being told that they have to go this route. Well, well, but what you tagging what you said though, you're not really. I don't feel like you're really yourself until you actually grow. You never come into who you really are. I, like, for me, for, for me, instance, I didn't feel like I came to who I really was until I got into my thirties. True, and, and again, and, it, until, it comes until I got in here, and I'm and I'm still growing. I'm still learning as I mm -hmm. go about who I who I am, and what I would accept, what I will do, what I will learn. Because, and again, when I was in my twenties, especially my early twenties, my thing was, I want to be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that I'm the best you gonna ever had. I don't want a commitment though. I'm gonna go do this right here. You know what I'm saying? And that was the that was the mentality we have at that age. We all mm -hmm. had that mentality at that age. Well, like I said, you like I said, you was married for a long time, so we all had that mentality. Um, so I mean, don't saying so like we we never come into who we actually are. So let me hit this I, one I more question. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I get that, but we didn't go to the extremes of what people are doing now. Yeah, I believe that. I'm certain. I'm certain. I'm certain. Ten, I'm certain. Ten, ten. Yeah, like um, these cats are literally willing to commit suicide for what we're talking about because it was a challenge. Right. <laughs> you know? I mean, I think I do think I do think I do. <laughs> sorry, I do think that sex nowadays are mm -hmm. is, is not it's not it's not an intimate act no more. Mm -mm. It's, it's it's for views. Yep. It's views. 
If, yep. Like, I mean, people would have sex anywhere, anytime, no matter what's going on. I mean, every once in a while, when you with your person, you with your with your with your, with your man, your girl, whatever, you you like, okay, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little something freaky, spice it up. But nowadays, it's like, okay, cool. We're just trying to we're just trying to be the next big thing. As, so let's that's on, what I'm let's saying. Have, that's what let's I'm have saying. sex on a on, let's have sex on a bus stop in front of people. Like it didn't. It was it's weird now. I think and sex became a weird act now. It I. I think it's more, uh, I also add in the, uh, I guess, excitement. Mm. I guess the excitement, I feel like this, like that's exciting to them mm -hmm. for some reason, but what? yeah. Well, look, let me go ahead and wrap up my last question before we can go ahead and end this right here. Cause I know it's been, we've been talking for a long time and I'm sorry, y'all. I know y'all got stuff to do. That's okay. <laughs> but, um, so we're going to get, we're talking about sex and the young people. So we all have kids. Like you mm -hmm. said, friend, you said you had a 21 year old. Uh, Donna, you said you got a 14 year old. Um, I got I know 18, said, and a 14. 18 and a 14 year old. Jazz said she had three. I got, I got two, bo I got two boys. My son is 15 and 13. So, when is the right time to talk about sex with your kids? Now, <laughs> like wherever, uh, where, where, wherever you listening to this and you got kids now. Right now, yeah. As soon as they can speak, I believe, yeah, uh, yeah. I know. I'm just making jokes. and understand, speak and understand. Yeah. Because and teach them gradually. I wouldn't talk to a two year old as graphic yeah, as okay. we're speaking right now. Yeah. Okay. But right. I would tell my two year old, you know, this is your penis. This is yes. your vagina. No, it's not your cookie. No, it's not your Peter or whatever mm -hmm. you want to call it. As I like it's it. your your vagina, <laughs> and, and if somebody touches this, or if somebody you know, teach them that the technical terminology, and teach them right and wrong, what feels good, what doesn't feel good, with you know, with how they want somebody to touch them, and how they should touch other people as well. So with me, with me, when, well, like I said, my sons are my stepsons. We've been together since they, I've been with them since they was little. I mean, we all know the basic, and you talk to your kids. No, this your no no area. Nobody touch this right here. This was goes down, this down the third. But when it came down to the actual act of sex, I remember my, my older son, he's 15 now, and which you know shit, he trying to fuck the wall right now. Anyway, but when you when he's when he when, when he was like nine or ten years old, when he was nine or ten years old, and I remember they, they introduced sex ed at school to him. And he was starting to like ask, he had questions. I told him, I said, Well, as you get older, I'm gonna go in more in depth with the conversations. You know what I'm saying? Right. At, nine, at 9 to 10 years old, I taught him the basics. I taught him, look, okay, this is what's going to happen in the morning. You're going you're gonna to get this right here in the morning. You're going to feel this right here. I mean, I, I didn't. T I, I told him about knowing his body first. Mm -hmm. Before I told him about knowing the female stuff first, then getting to the actual sexual acts. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it was for me. And then my youngest, and, and it's weird because my youngest and my oldest is two different breed of kids. Like, they, my youngest think he's the smartest guy, goddamn kid in the world. <laughs> but my oldest, my oldest was willing to like listen to him. Now he think he's a sex expert. That's a whole other story. So, <laughs> so, I remember having that conversation with him, and I remember him being so confused at the beginning. And he was like, he was like, like, why do he said, he said, why do I get, why do it get like that in the morning? I said, because your body's resting and it's it's coming up. I mean, it's. Is that the jerk of, that the energy of blood coming through you? And it's mm. it's gonna make you like that. That's what happened. And then we went in, I mean, we went into real big details as he got older. And when as he got into the age where I could see it in him, that yo, you really, you really ain't seen your little friend no more as your girl in your class. I could see that you looking at her as <laughs> I'm I'm gonna slide in that. <laughs> and right. I had to actually I had, I had to pull him to the side and we had that conversation. We had to have a very yeah. uncomfortable real conversation. But then I thought about me as a child. I like mm. I never wanted to have that conversation with my dad. Yeah, that's what I I had. I didn't have the the, the body talk, which mm. I have to and I will tonight. <laughs> but the conversation you just said you had the sex talk, I did have mm. that, and I even told him, I was like, um, I, I know you're uncomfortable right now, right, but. I also like you shouldn't be uncomfortable. Like, right. what is there to be right. uncomfortable about something that you don't know of? Right. You know, like, like, so don't be uncomfortable. And then we, you know, we talked about that. Mm 
Okay. So. I mean, and you know, and that's, I think that's the best thing to be. I do think we should have an open conversation. I do think mm-hmm. the conversation between you and your kids should be open. Because mm-hmm. I want to know, and it's weird because I'm on that, I'm on that side that fence because I want to know, but I know I really don't want to know. You know what I'm saying? So I, I have to, I have to yeah. kind of break it, on both on both sides. We have to break that wall down and open that conversation up. Be, because now, to be honest, yeah, with, I, don't, honest I don't get the whole, yeah, I don't get the whole. I don't really want to know because we know it's, what's gonna happen. We know. I I get it. I get it because one thing, feel I comfortable because like my daughter and I have that comfortable relationship where. She can, you know, she can. She told me whenever she broke her virginity, mm-hmm. and she'll come to me if she have issues, and so will my son. But she's more more comfortable than he is, and she will be graphic when I don't need you to be graphic. I just need you to tell me the basics. Okay, I get. Okay, I get what you. <laughs> and so I don't need that. all the details. Okay, I just need yeah, you I mean, to tell me what the issue is, and not tell me all these details because I really don't want to know this. Yeah, <laughs> but, here's, but, here's, but here's the thing is about learning. Yeah, this is the thing about to talking to the conversation. How, how but I don't tell her that because I still want her to come to me, you know. Right. You don't need to tell me how much slob you slobbed. Okay? You understand. And I don't say, I say, say Donnie, 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 and again, we, we, we men, though. We, we men, though, Donnie. So you don't, want, you don't want your son to come to you and say, you know what? Man, I licked that ass like it was grocery for real. And like, you was like, you don't want, you like... <laughs> What exactly? You, don't know. you can tell me what you, you. I feel like you can tell me what you did, but yeah, being all like that with it, and yeah, nah, you don't have to be like that with it, <laughs> right? I mean, because we had, to, I've, like I said though, then then the thing was my youngest was his thing was well, what was your experience then? How old was you when you lost your virginity? How old was you when you was doing this third? And mm-hmm. then I'm like, then, 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 then you gotta have a real conversation, then because you gotta think about mm-hmm. yourself. Like, okay, do I really want to tell this person, tell my kid, the real story about me? Do they, do, like, do you worry is they gonna fall, for, like, go down the same route you did or whatever? Because I started real young. So my thing was, I didn't want to tell him, okay, well, look, I was 14 and this, that, and the third. Mm-hmm. But you don't. But then he said, he be like, well, shit, I can, I'm, I'm 13 now, so is. It, it was it's a conversation that we have to have. We had to kind of set ground rules a little bit. I yeah, think a little bit ground rules. I think I, I think I would still say, yeah. tell them the truth. Oh yeah, I still told right, right, you. right then and there because yeah. of it, I, again, depending on your on your growth within yourself right, as right, well. Right. Like me personally, I, I feel like I could tell them because I understand how it were at that time. And right. got right. a slight understanding of where you are right now. Right. right. So I would tell them, but like, like, look, okay, but that wasn't cool. I, I didn't have somebody telling me what I'm telling you right now. Right. You know, see, but my thing, my <laughs> thing was for me was different though, because like I said, my dad wanted to have a conversation with me. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I'm not even trying to like in my head, I'm trying to then now I'm picturing in my head you having sex. I'm like. I don't. I, that's a, I. I can't do that. So then, but then I had an older brother. I had my older brother though. My older brother it was out there like that. So he was like, "Yeah, Eric, I did it in third. So I was comfortable to having that conversation with. Him. But then I start talking like my son would talk to me. Well, I did this right here too. No, I ain't got told him. Man. Wait a minute. I don't need to. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't need to know that everything went down. But that was that's my question. Is we all look? I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this conversation up tonight. We've been on here almost what up to almost two hours, y'all. And I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Everybody chipped in and out and, and swapped <laughs> places. And um, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like, coming from the left field. <laughs> it's all good, man. But that's the point of the conversation, though. I wanted I, the part of me having this, this podcast was I wanted to start a conversation that's been, have, that hasn't been had. Mm-hmm. I feel like people do not talk openly about situations that's going down. Oh, man. So, and so, so I do feel, and that's the part of random thoughts. It's, it's random. It's whatever comes to your mind. We can jump to topics, we can jump off and come back. That was the point of this of, of my podcast. Uh, so yeah. it was a look. So look, y'all, I'm gonna wrap this talk, episode up. Whatever oh, talk ahead. is, put the emphasis on taboo. I, I yeah. love the taboo conversations. Oh. So look, so let me go ahead and put into this real quick. So before we get off, would y'all like to please like shout out your, your podcast, what y'all doing now, where we can find y'all at? Sure. Uh, I'm friends. <laughs> Uh, jazz fell off, so I'll tell you guys where you can find us. We have a website, the root of all sex podcast.com. Um, you can find us on all social media, the root of all sex podcast. We have a private Facebook group, 
um, that it goes down in y'all. That's where all the craziness happens and people tell us all their business and we tell y'all all our business. Uh, and that is the Root of All Sex podcast listeners on Facebook. Um, we will have our TV show version of the Root of All Sex coming soon. Um, and we'll let y'all know more about that once we start recording. It'll be fun. I look forward to it. Uh, that's about it. I'm praying guy on all social media. Mm -hmm. All right, Mr. Donnie. Well, I'm the host of Whatever Talk, one of two. And go listen to Whatever Talk. We, we make fun of reality and we talk about stuff like this coming from and like our perspective on how we feel about everything. And like, we, I like to talk about taboo stuff, stuff that people are afraid to talk about. And I feel like I speak what everybody else is afraid to say because they worrying about how they gonna look to other people. You know, so I just love those conversations. So people, if you want a conversation, not a debate, it's not a debate. I ain't trying to convert you on nothing. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so we want to conversate about anything. Come to whatever talk. Say it how you want to say it, because you're there to explain it. It's, it's just like that. Oh, and white people can say nigga on there. It's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I went on. I'm glad I went on that episode. <laughs> white people can say nigga. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad I went on that episode that night. Oh, we good. Oh, Jazz, Jazzy, uh -huh. back. Fran, 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 pretty much hold it down for for the root of all sex. But, Thank y'all. Uh, Listen, we got, we got. This is the second time our power that went out today. We got one of the problems uh, up here. So it's all good. It's all good. You know how I am. Hey, you want to go ahead and um let everybody know where to find you? If you know, say any questions they have for you. Um. Okay. I can be found on Instagram at Jazzy underscore Jackie J A U K E I. Um and on Facebook the same thing, Jazzy at Jazzy J K E I. Um if y'all have any problems or need any coaching, I am available at Intimate State of Mind on both Instagram as well as Facebook. Okay. And when y'all y'all know me, man, this is boy Eric G. If you want to find me, I'm on all social media. Um, look for Eric Green on Facebook. Um, now I have a Twitter. I'm learning from my, from my ladies how to do this stuff. I have a Twitter page, um, uh, Random Thoughts with Eric G. I currently have a Facebook page I just started, uh, Random Thoughts with Eric G. Um, also find me on Pandora, Anchor, iHeartRadio, all platforms. Um, and that's pretty much it, man. But y'all, look, I want to tell y'all all, thank y'all for being a part of my show. It's a blessing. I really appreciate it, y'all. Awesome, awesome, man. man. I can't wait to do it. Always, always. And I feel like I've got so much to talk about, even outside of the conversation we've had. But um, I got high too early. <laughs> I'm about to get drunk. Hey, 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 hey I done finished my second glass already. But look, <laughs> I can't even get drunk. I got to leave a house. <laughs> but look, look y'all, I think y'all are. I thank y'all again, and um, like I said, I hope to catch everybody again. We're going to link up another time. But um, yeah, like I said, that's it, y'all. I appreciate it. And uh, like I always say, y'all, God bless you. Peace. <laughs>